Hi, this is Mananshal V. In this episode, I'll walk you through my workflow to create this video in LumaFusion. The video was created with clips from Storyblocks and using only LumaFusion. I started with a general idea of showing how smoke or a plume can be masked in LumaFusion. The challenge being that footage of smoke usually includes solid areas together with soft and semi-transparent edges. This is the video that we'll be using for this tutorial. Notice that the background is black. The video already includes a defined mask. In my experience, the best way to isolate and show smoke in LumaFusion is by using blend modes and a mask. Here are the masking results of chroma key, luma key and blend modes together for comparison. As you can see, blend modes provide better semi-transparency and soft edges in the tail of the meteor. Now let's talk about the CD footage I chose to use as a background. First, I wanted the meteor to pass behind buildings. This means that the chosen background would have to allow separating the buildings from the sky, at least in the areas where the meteor crosses those buildings. I decided ahead of time that I would do the separation using Luma Key. Luma Key masks are based on luminosity, so there would need to be a defined contrast between the buildings and the sky. The meteor is moving from left to right. The footage of the city needed to either be still or pan left to counteract the movement of the meteor, as in the video that I chose. There are more decisions to make, but let's put together in LumaFusion what we have so far. Here's a new LumaFusion project already containing the video of the meteor that includes a mask, and two copies of the video of the city one for the background and one for the buildings to be layered above the meteor. The first half of the video of the meteor contains the actual footage and the second half contains the mask. Start by cutting the video exactly in half to separate the two parts. Place the second half of the cut containing the mask above the first video of the city aligned to the end of the clip. With the video of the city being about one second longer than the footage of the meteor, this will make the meteor appear one second after the footage of the city starts. Change the blend mode of the mask to Silhouette Luma. Position the mask so it appears in the sky crossing the tallest building. Now move the other half of the cut containing the meteor footage just above the mask. Copy the settings from the video containing the mask to the video that you just moved so the meteor is in the same position in both videos. Edit the video of the meteor and change the blend mode to linear dodge. This is how it looks so far. Now let's make the meteor appear behind the tallest building. Move the second video of the city to a new track above the other videos, leaving an empty track in the middle. 
we'll need that track later to add glow to the meteor's head as well as lens flare. Add the light luma key preset to the video. Adjust the setting of the mask to key out the sky. The building now shows on top of the meteor. Watch the result a few times to make sure that the mask works for every frame in the video. Now, color grade the buildings, the meteor, and the sky as you see fit. This is how it looks after my color grading. Now, let's add some glow to the head of the meteor as well as lens flare. I found this clip that contains most of the elements that I was looking for. It has a yellowish-orange glow, and it moves from left to right in a way that is similar to the movement of the meteor. As a bonus, the clip already includes lens flares. First, if necessary, change the speed of the clip to closely match the duration of the clip of the meteor. Move the clip to the track that was left empty, aligning it to the end. Change the blend mode to screen. This is usually the best blend mode for glow and lens flare. Adjust the position so the glow appears inside the head of the meteor. You may need to add keyframes to match the movement of the glow and the meteor. Notice that the lens flares are visible from the beginning, making their appearance sudden. This can be eased by adding a fading transition that makes the glow and the lens flares progressively stronger as they enter the screen. At this point, we are done with the visual effects for this clip. Next, I wanted to show two additional views of the meteor moving across the sky. Here is the first of the two additional views. I had an issue isolating one of the buildings appear in front of the meteor. I resolved that by adding an additional layer without the Luma key mask. The new clip is cropped and adjusted with keyframes so only the building with the issues shows. Here's the second of the two additional views. Now, let's add a 5 seconds establishing shot as the first clip before the meteor appears. Lastly, add a 5 seconds empty title at the end, so the end of the video suddenly cuts to black. We are done with the video effects portion. Let's talk about sound effects now. The first sound effect to add is an ambient city noise. This effect will run for the entirety of the video. Next, add a sonic boom when the meteor reaches the middle of the screen in the first clip. This helps convey distance. 
It takes almost 5 seconds from the moment the meteor shows on screen to the moment you can hear it. Add copies of the sonic booms to the remaining two clips, but with a lower volume. I wanted the first sonic boom to trigger car alarms. Place the car alarm sound so it starts as the first sonic boom is dissipating. The volume was lowered to merge with the ambient noise of the city. Next, a clip of screams was sporadically added starting after the first sonic boom. Each scream has an altered pitch, so they all sound different from each other. As with the car alarms, the volume was lowered to merge with the ambient noise of the city. Lastly, all sound effects were stopped 3 seconds after the video cuts to black and then faded out over those same 3 seconds. This is how it looks all together. So this is it for this episode. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel, give it a like and click on the bell so you're notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching, stay safe and I'll see you on the next one.